Yes, good morning one, good morning all. How are we? But what a show have we got for you. There's so much we have to cram in for this show. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, we've got Craftoscope, which means Nick's here. Hi there. How Pleased are you? you. Yeah, yeah, great. Show. Show, I can't yeah. wait to do this. But it's sold out five times before. We're going to go straight in with these now. Sold out five times before. You absolutely love them. They're back in stock. These are the beautiful rose petal dies. Nine pounds and 99 pence is what they are. 255941 is your item number. Um, Nick, what can we do with these rose petal um, dies? They were designed specially to do the roses, uh, the rose bowl and uh, things like that. But uh, obviously, being Craftscope, I wanted to come up with different ideas as well. So there are lots of other ways of doing it. If you look at my YouTube video, there's uh, lots of card craft ideas you can do. Um, my show later on, you can use them with the heat transfer paints to design quilts and uh, blankets. Uh, it's really just thinking outside the box and uh, use them for whatever you want. They make fantastic balloons. If can I just grab a yeah, quick yeah, balloon? Yeah, go, go, go. We'll look at this card. So you can use these petals on your cards as well if you want to. So don't just think a bouquet. Really use them to embellish your cards. So then just using or it as a simple card with like for balloons. Using it for a set of balloons. So if we wanted to start, are they easy to do? Are they easy to make? Very easy. I wanted to start early because, you know, they do go. I haven't actually managed to get through a full demonstration yet. So I thought if we start so people know that they're here. So you start off with like a little pear-shaped piece of uh, tin foil on a piece of florist wire. Yeah. Uh, the most important part once you die cut is to actually do the shaping. So we crunch up the petal, twist it, and uh, give it the extra shape it needs. A little bit of uh, it's quite malleable, so you know you can get a good shape into it. That is the most important part. Once you've got the shape in, the rest is It'll easy. Work itself. So if I just quickly show you on this yeah, one, yeah. you just uh, sort of choose where you want the petal. A wee bit of glue. 10% of this is already gone. We are two minutes in. Nine pounds and 99 right. pence. Um, what material are you using? Can you use any material to make roses? Uh, or? The foam around I, uh, I really do highly recommend. Uh, Anna comes in She uh, from Craftbox. She does the foam around. It gives you the, it's got the most uh, shapeability, uh, the mo most natural looking, uh, I, f I find. Uh, you can get other other phones, but obviously, for ease of use, uh, especially if you're a beginner, I feel that the foam run is the best you can so get. So. Yeah. But you could do them out of paper if you want oh, yeah, to. Oh you you get that paper. different. You'll get that different uh, look yeah, to them. Yeah, tissue, uh, crepe paper. Another one is uh, coffee filters. Oh yeah. You know, coffee filters give another look completely, which is great for your mixed media, putting into journals, things like that. So you can see how quickly it's coming along. Just uh, adding those petals. Actually, if I move along to a one that we've almost finished. Yeah, so, so, so think about the using these for embellishments now on your cards. On your cards, yeah, they're brilliant. It would be cards. absolutely stunning for embellishments. You could do a full, you could do a full bowl of them if you wanted to as well. But look at them on embellishments here. So you could really go to town and build this up. You could use these on hair slides as well. Make yep. little hair slides with little fascinators. Um, but just look, look how realistic the bowl of flowers look. And obviously sure. adding your colour, you can use uh, the distress inks or you can use, I like to use the pastels. Uh, always uh, use the colour before you before you shape because then that blends through the colour. So you can see that's fairly Over a quarter fast. of the stock has now gone of these dyes already. You love them every time they come in. They've been in five times already and sold out five times already as well. 255941 is your item number. Look there how quick so this is. Now, we also, if you do buy anything during this hour, so if you buy absolutely anything during the hour, so say you're buying the 10 dies uh, for the rose petal die set now, or you buy some of the amazing yeah, stuff so. that's coming. Look at that stunning rose. So I won't carry on, but I mean, that's just as it comes, the plain white or the cream. Sorry, my hands are a bit shaky. That's all right. <laughs> Always are the first <laughs> demo. Um, yeah, so that's just your plain white so there's no color added at all but if you added a little bit of green to the bases then that shines through and it gives it like that 3d more 3d look more natural i always like to add green 
because that's and sometimes brown even if you just add a little bit of brown because it looks like it's been bruised like a natural rosewood so you can really make them look natural so you really really can but before we go anywhere if anyone's buying anything during this hour there is an amazing giveaway okay so anything you buy you'll be putting to um into the drawer um and what are you what are this is an amazing oh yeah prize. i love this it's the heat transfer paints you uh, you probably saw hopefully you saw my last show but um we've got some brand new colors this time i uh, got uh, so we brought the whole collection up to 20. um so uh, what we're doing for this show is uh, anything you buy in this show you'll actually get the full set so you'll get the full 20 colors the uh, prefixer, which allows you to work on natural fibres such as cotton, things like that, and also the thickener, which enables you to use them for your stamping. So, you know, the possibilities are endless with it. It really is. So you're getting all yeah. the colours. So you can create, you're not getting the book, but you can create stunning works like this as well. So using all your colours that you've got, you can do back experiments, you can use fabric, you can use it on stamps, and that's simply if you buy something during the hour. We are extremely busy now for these petal die sets. You're getting 10 dies in total. 255941 is your item number. We're now limited stock Ooh. on the die sets. On the petal die sets, six minutes in, and we are limited stock on the dies. Nine pounds, it's sold out. Five times before is where it's sold out. So if you don't, if you want to, don't miss out. Is what I'm saying. Do not miss out. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Oh, technical sellout on the petal die set now. It's all, which means the technical sellout is all there, all in baskets. Which means if any do jump out of baskets, we will let you know. But if you've got them in your basket at the moment, please do check them out we had a vast amount of stock of them as well but we've got some brand new items <coughs> on the show as well oval dies and mm. stamps now these are beautiful this uh this evolved from my uh, regal rose collection uh, one of the samples was actually very similar to this it was an oval with uh, built up of uh, all the, uh, the wild roses the hips etc um, so I, I formed one complete on its own with the extra sentiment. So this will actually perfectly match your Regal Rose collection if you do have it. If you don't, we've got it later. Um, and then I wanted a matching die, a two-part die, so you c it gives you versatility. You cut it out, cut it out of your card, let it hang over a card so you've got like a shaped card front. Um, some wonderful sentiments in there. There are as well. beautiful, and you're also getting a lot. So you see the big, the, the, the sort of the wreath in the middle. So you can stamp it if you want to, and you get all the sentiments as well. Now there is a bonus with this oh yeah, package uh, as well. So you see the sentiment just here. It's how you look something that make that can, but. So if you read that, it sort of doesn't read right. And we've all read it time and time again, and we've all glossed over it, and we all read it how it should say. It should say, it's how you look at something that can make it beautiful. But save taking the stamp out and putting a new one in, you're going to keep that stamp and, and will also give you the, the corrected one. stamp that has the word at in as well. So in theory... You're getting both sets of stamps. So you can now keep this one as a whole and cut the other one up so it just says yeah. beautiful. You could cut, you've got all the letters in there that you could really cut into the other one. So you could now have it say, uh, you've got an it, how, you, look, something, that. So you could cut into that. So you can have small little separate words. All the anagrams you've got there, all the other words, you've got beautiful in there as well. And you're getting your extra stamp as well that does read right. So do mm -hmm. not worry, we have given you that. Um, some of the other sentiments on there, are things like may happiness be yours today oh never let a day go by without uh without i've not bought my glasses uh without, without cherishing, without what, cherishing you what you have i really need my glasses when i start reading these things up uh, but there's so many more on there but some of the finished samples you can create uh, you won't be able to find them because they're in my bag in the green room, my glasses are. Uh, 367441 is your item number, but you can create things like this, or look at these. Again, it's really versatile. I've, uh, I've just, I have to show you, can I just oh, show yeah, you go this on. one? Um, 
one of the sentiments on here is from a really very, very old antique card. It was actually from my, not to me, but it was from my great, great grandmother. <gasps> and the sentiment was on there and it was a very old Victorian card with uh, lace antique looking. And I had to happen to mention that in the design team and um, Anne uh, made this and I, I said, you know, I can't believe it's, it's got that really antique feel to it. Uh, sort of a sentiment that you wouldn't hear nowadays, but I think it's quite a nice sentiment. It's really not, the heart is warm, the love is true, let's send these birthdays wishes to you. And you wouldn't, well no, you wouldn't mm. find that anymore, unless you created that yourself yeah. with the separate stamps, you wouldn't get these sorts of sentiments anymore. And you are getting so many of these sentiments, all, all wrapped up in total. And you also get the die so you can cut it out as well. So there's so much. There is a freedom price of £30.58. And so remember that is a delivered price to you as well. If you're not in the club, £33.98 is the price you will be paying. And you are getting both of these as well. Absolutely stunning pieces of work. We've also got brand new rectangles as well on the show. The rectangles are very, very worth getting because you can do so much with rectangles, yeah. can't you, Nick? Yeah, I've got quite a few rectangle sets and I wanted to bring out my own because um, I wanted a specific rectangle. I know that sounds really ridiculous, but um, with rectangle sets that I've got so far is you get so far down and they become unusable because they're too squat, you know, so they become almost square-like yeah. rather than, you know, I wanted a longer rectangle so I could use every single one, so the sentiments come, uh, you know, you can cut out the perfect sentiment or if you want uh, oh, the words out. to be cut out. Um, also, I wanted them thick because another thing I found with rectangle, some rectangle dies is that they don't cut precisely over time, so you get a bend, so I wanted the dies to be thick. Um, so that's why I've done them in two sets, um, because I wanted them to be extra thick so there wasn't that, uh, so they, we're less likely to bow in the middle, especially if your plates are bowed. Uh, you find that sometimes if you use a die through on bowed place, it will actually uh, bend that through so you don't get a precise cut. You've got everything you need here as well. You're getting 22 dies in total. But just look at what you can do. From rectangles, you think, well, what am I going to do with rectangles? There is so much you can do with these rectangles. So you can make that. So from them dies, you can now create this. And as Nick said, the rectangles are big enough to put your sentiments in as well. So you haven't got to worry about using them little mm. ones. You think, I'll never use the little ones that I go down mm. to. I won't use them because I can't put anything in them. But now you can. You can. Everything is there. £1.59 per die. One fifty nine a die. Great value, and you are getting 22 dies in total. Um, as you can see, this, you've sort of got the longer ones, and you also get, so there's, they're two different shapes is what you're they getting They work here. absolutely perfectly together to give you like a narrow border. It gives yeah. you much more versatility. I know they're in a set, they're, to me, they're an essential part of crafting. Uh, most of these samples, if you look through, have used, the, used them in some way. Um, uh, I just wanted my own and I wanted it to, to be usable the whole, whole way down. Um, I have, have been disappointed with some and, you know, this is why I wanted my own. And now you're not. Yep. So you see, you know what you're getting as well with it. You are buying into quality. £34.98, and pence. Four two two eight three seven is your item number. A brand new, another new today, is these beautiful, oh, these flourishes mm. are exquisite. There is so much you can do with mm. these as well, I feel. But any finishing off of your card, um, you know, the, these match perfectly with the floral companions. Uh, they match perfectly with the uh, Regal Rose collection. But not only that, uh, like all of my products, I always like you to be able to yes. use them with anything you have in your crafty stash at home. I don't want you to just think that you can only use something Look. with other craft scope products because, you know, uh, that's not my idea. I want you to be using them throughout. I mean, I mean that, that's amazing, <gasps> you know, just putting it into, into resin shell did that. I always say, you know, the design team have really pushed the boat out uh, with all three shows uh, this weekend. I mean, it's been fantastic, you know, the things they've come up with. Already 10% uh, of this has already gone. £13.99. You can use these. I think these are also a necessity. Yeah, I think so. I think it adds a touch of, one touch of class to your yeah. card, 
and that blank space you don't know where to put something in, mm. you can now you add can a beautiful add, flourish. Yeah. I mean, you, we all need like that little finishing touch. I mean, here's like this is more almost like a main part of a card. It doesn't have to just be the like the little uh, flourish that finishes the card off. It can be like the main part or Look you know the that. main statement even. Uh, this afternoon I've got it on the heat transfer. I've actually used it to do a clock, so I'll, I'll show you that um, later. But if you can just add, if you just take them off, that would that would still be a beautiful, mm. beautiful piece of work. But it just adds and draws your yeah. eye to the flower. So it's, and it's absolutely stunning. Very, very busy for these. Thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Seven one zero nine six eight is your item number but you've seen how quick things can sell out. Within five minutes, we sold out this morning. So what I would do, as I normally say, shop ahead on the website is the simplest and the quickest way to go. Everything is on there. You've got some beautiful stencils on there as well. You've got more of the dyes on there. That beautiful rose. Me and Nick were talking about that at the start of the show. Um, just before we came on air, an absolutely stunning rose in there. If you're into your, your um, princesses, you'll know the rose I'm talking about from that well-known film. It's well worth having a little look at them. Uh, those petal dyes sold out already, unfortunately. Um, there's not many more. There's none of them left. They already sold out. But we do have a larger rose. So if you've already got the smaller ones and you want the large ones, What's the difference with the large ones? What are we getting? Is it just a bigger um, set of dies? Yeah, it's, it gives you an extension. If you, uh, if you bring that big one in, that's, um, it's a way of getting a large, large rose. So with this sort of rose, this is a real statement piece, but obviously if you used Fomaran for that whole rose, it would cost you an arm and a leg probably. So the idea of the large extension set was that you start off with your smaller set to build up the centre petals and then on the outside you use the larger petals but you're using minimal amount through there so you're not wasting... So you're not wasting anything? No, because the last thing you want to do is sort of use huge petals. I mean the largest petal I've used here is uh, I think this one for this particular petal. But these make fantastic bunting. It's a shame I was going to put it out earlier. It's uh, uh, I think it was Nicola made some lovely bunting from it. Oh, you um, could do, because they are them beautiful teardrop shapes. You yeah. could do amazing bunting with them as well. So this is the larger set here. You're getting eight dies in total, £16.99, and, and already a quarter of the stock of the large ones have already gone. So if you've already got the smaller ones and you're thinking, oh, I quite like them large ones, or you're going straight for the large ones, as we said, you could do bunting out of these. Yeah. You still do get uh, the sort of the littler one here as well. Uh, so it's the smaller, littler. Mm. It's my own English. The tiny diddy one as well. So you could start making flowers with these as well and you could even cut them down even smaller if you wanted to as well. Well worth having a look if you are into your flowers. Right then, what we're we creating right, first. Right, so this is what we're going to go for. Uh, <gasps> look at so give that. that. So this is using the rose uh, oval and the dies. Uh, so here what we've done is we've cut out three of the oval uh, using the inside and the outside, uh, so stamped it and then cut it out and layered it up so you've got more of like almost like a mount board oh, okay. type um, base, if you like. So, and then underneath we've just used the outside uh, without the inside cut, so this will give us our base there. And then we're going to stick those together. So that gives you a really nice chunky sort of ornament type and I'm just going to clip that together and move straight on to the next okay. stage. So here's one that's dried for you. So are you a glue sort of guy? Are you a red liner tape sort of guy? Um, is it, or at does home it matter? I will always use glue. Okay. Um, uh, on a box I might use a little bit of liner tape just to, um, just to hold it in place but uh, on the whole I will use um, I will use the uh, the glue. Okay, no, that's fine. I just you know, it's so nice to have that instant uh, that instant grab, isn't it? But I think on the whole, you know, for lasting, long lasting, it's um, it's good to have the glue. And yeah. it, obviously, you know, it it, it gives you a, a tougher thing. Now, now I'm just going to paint this with black gesso uh, because we're going to go in afterwards and overlay this with um, the gilding wax. Actually, can I just uh, say, I forgot to yeah, mention earlier, 
because another thing that um, I've got back in stock is the chrysanthemum dye. Oh, okay. Um, and that was uh, not quite as uh, fast as the rose, but <laughs> that obviously went very quickly as well, so that is back in stock. So that is also back in stock as well. We'll find the details for that and place it on the screen for you. So the chrysanthemum. That's uh, just in case well. I don't get time. In case to you don't get to see that as well. Yeah. They do sell it there and they are so realistic. But the details that are on the screen at the moment are for what we're currently using. So you do get the dye and you also get the beautiful stamp collection as well with all those stunning sentiments. Now I'm seeing if you're into your um, if you're into your yeah, watercolors, so. if you're into your painting, if you're into your coloring, just the flowers round the edge. If you cut two of them, you can make a beautiful wreath or garland. Yeah. yeah, really lovely. Out of those two, so you cut two and you make it into a perfect circle. Absolutely stunning piece of work there. That once again you can use all year round because it, it doesn't scream Christmas. It does. It, you could use it for many classy occasions. So very, very busy on these, and you've also got freedom on this as well. Well worth pick these up. Right then. Right. So we've coated that in the black gesso, so that was set aside and dry. So the next stage is we've got an adhesive sheet here. Okay. Um, it's been cut out uh, using the both sets of the dies again. So we've got a perfect frame. So just going to peel that off and with the one that I just showed you we've actually used three separate uh, gilding flakes oh, okay um, and been a bit more selective where we put in the colors um, so as that's there I'm going to use the mixture this time mixture as well, just to give you it will just be a subtle difference we you know, do have cues on the phones now. We are extra about two and a half minutes to three minute cues on the phones. As I said, if you can jump to the website, hachanda.com, jump to the website and buy it ahead. I really don't want you missing out because I know you are loving, loving everything these. you're seeing at the moment. I mean, I, I love roses. This, I, th I was telling you earlier, you know, uh, this one was done sort of, sort of in memory of my nan, really. You know, she loved roses and she had an amazing rose garden. Um, and I just uh, I thought it'd be something that she'd love, and I love roses myself as well. So, and, and I, I suppose flowers stick with you, and it always remind you of yeah. people. So even so, some people have got smells. Sometimes it's smells that can remind you, but I think flowers always remind you of so a loved yeah. one, or and it could be in a various of flowers. You think of a flower nine times out of ten, it'll remind you it'll of someone. It'll remind as well, you of so someone. Yeah, definitely. You know, either the scent or the colour, or yeah. you know, the, the memory. Uh, they, there was a fantastic show on the other day when I was doing my one day special, the uh, Make Your Own Perfume. Oh, okay, yeah. And fantastic. I mean, obviously I had the luxury of being in the studio and being able to go and look myself. So I bought the men's <laughs> one because, you know, I thought it was a brilliant idea, you know, and the quality of it was fantastic. You know, I put, uh, I accidentally put the wrong one on my arm here and uh, I went to wash it off. And even after washing it with soap Still in the it. bathroom, I could still smell it, so I thought, well, that just shows you the How quality of that. Are. So that's the uh, next stage, so that's done. So that's I'll just put that aside for the flakes for the on already. I won't be throwing that but away. You can see there, so that's got, that has got all the flakes on it. And you literally just rub them on, mix part bags, and look at the shine you've got. And then obviously we can buff it up um, afterwards. So I'm not going to waste those. No, right. no. No, it's so lovely. This uh, this is the winter, winter dawn from uh, indigo blue, and you've got some lovely blues, reds, greens. It's uh, stunning. And once again, at the, in the moment, yeah, yeah. you can see and you think, oh, this, uh, that's a lot on there. I'm not, I'm not a fan. But when you get to the finished article, mm. it's just a hint in the background that shines through that you're about to see. Yeah. So it's really, really worth it. Um, this could be a loved one. It doesn't have to be a... I mean, here I'm just going to uh, put a picture in. You know, sorry, I'm just moving away, but I'm just going to put a picture in the centre here of a waterfall, so I'm going to use it up sort of that side. But, you know, it could be a picture of uh, your, your little child or your oh baby. Yeah, loved or, one or... You know, you could have it, like, put some ribbon on the back and have it as a hanger, or you could uh, put it onto the front of a card or even put it into your journaling. It would make really a beautiful nice. frame as well. If you put a little stand yeah. on the back, put a stand on the back, it would be nice. It would be an it? absolute stunning frame. It would be. Again, I'm just going to use my wet glue. Again on here, you know, when you do putting the time into something like this, because obviously you're not going to rush through like I am now. Um, you know, you want to spend the time and you want it to last. So don't. I I think wet glue is the way to go with this. 
I suppose wet glue as well. What I've learned from being here is wet, wet glue gives you also the wiggle room. Yes, it does. Yeah. So you're not that instant. You think, oh, I don't, I, don't, yeah. I can't move it now. It gives you that time that's to right. play. So that's that. And then we finally, to finish off, um, we've stamped just the uh, rose part of it. Look at that. So I'm, ne I'm not going to do it all because. I've always said it's it's so boring to watch me colour, <laughs> but obviously I will start it off. Oops, fingers and thumbs. Sorry. No, it's all right. It's all right. So you can see all three stages. So we black gessoed over the top. So we cut it out from your die cut machine. Black gessoed over the top. Then you put your glue on and you put your gilding wax on. Not your gilding wax. Your gilding flakes. And then you can pop your picture in, so you're sort of getting wh where we're going with this now. And then the next stage, you cut it out wa uh, again, and then you can mm. really start to colour yeah. it, colour it in, and use favourite colours on this. And um, what I'm using here is these are the uh, acrylic markers. Um, obviously, you use whatever type of uh, paint you like. Um, just start on the outside, just to bring the deeper colour through. Um, you know, I mix them just with a little bit of water. And then the more water you add, the lighter you're going to get. And then just said dimension. I also I love them in the water colouring. Uh, there's some amazing samples. Uh, We're going to see them with very the yeah, because I mean they are absolutely amazing. Uh, this well from all of them, you know I, ca I can't thank them enough. Every time I say it, but you know they. I can't thank them enough, so they I suppose deserve that's, to. Uh, that shows when they enjoy the stamps yeah. and dyes, and they enjoy when they enjoy it. You can see because we yeah. have so many finished, beautiful finished samples at the back as well. Because you know they've been really creative, and they can see so many different elements yeah. they can put into them. I mean, I've, I'm really lucky that I've got such a wide variety of people on the design team. So they, you know, everyone's got a completely different style. You know, I've got mixed media. I've got really nice, plain, simple which are really sometimes very one of the hardest cards to do, actually, uh, you know, to get a really clean, crisp yeah. look. Um, but having the whole range of them is, is fantastic because it lets people at home see just how versatile they can be. So nice. I'm going to leave that now and move on to just the look one that we've that. finished. While you quickly finish that, the chrysanthemum, really, really busy, 70% oh of the chrysanthemum now. That's just that. Yours won't come with a number on the back. That's just mine. Uh, that's the same number at the top. Uh, 358453 is your item number. 14 pounds and 49 pence. Very busy. And then you're getting all four of these dies as well. So you can make those beautiful. If I bring these in, uh, these. This is what you can create. Absolutely stunning pieces of work. 14 pounds, 49 pence, 358453 is your item number for those. I don't think they're going to last the show. I have a funny no, feeling. I don't know. Ugh. Remember, I mean, anything you buy as well, you'll be put into the prize draw. I mean, obviously, I do try and get as much as I can. I mean, it's obviously, I'm not very good at gauging this yet, but. <laughs> Right, so I've just printed, uh, not printed, I've just stamped out another um, few of the roses just to just give it a bit more dimension. I'm just shaping them with my fingers just to, with something like this, I wouldn't bother with a ball tool because, you know, you want it sort of a bit, you know, roses, especially wild roses like this are usually sort of quite crinkly. Oh, okay. You know, so I think they, they look good like that. You really can build these up. Even flat, they look beautiful. But when you start adding the other elements onto them as well. Yeah, and obviously, you know, spend your time and, you know, you, this is quite an enjoyable project, you know, especially, you know, when you're not, not rushing. <laughs> the wonders of live television yeah. for you. But obviously, yeah, do take this, your time. So. Obviously, each of these sets, you can take your time and you can go in time and time and come back to them if come you want to it, as yeah. well. Would you suggest Add more, uh, you know, different colours? I mean, I'd probably build up maybe four or five layers of this. I think myself. Oh, that would look stunning. So it's really deep. Yeah, so you really, can really deep. look in. So the picture is yeah. really in the background, and all your flowers are coming forward mm. as well. Would you suggest when they get these stamps home, mm. just to stamp everything out, just I so would. they can see them? Yeah, definitely. Because I think otherwise, uh, personally, I think you miss stamps. Otherwise, 
I bet you 99% of people out there, like me, have got a set of stamps, whatever make it is, and there'll be at least two stamps that they haven't used in that sheet or n uh, that's not even been peeled off. Because I know I have. I know there's stamp sheets at home you and I haven't know. got everything off. So yeah, or I'd get yourself a bit of copy of paper, stamp everything out. You can, uh, if you watched one of my one day specials, you can actually just put a bit of uh, tape on the back and stamp the whole thing out in one go if you want. You don't have to. Which would be well worth it. You, you can really see what yeah. you're getting as well. You can see what you're getting. Uh, this is beautiful. We've got more demos coming up as well. Uh, the large, the large roses now are very busy. 40% of these have now gone. So 40% of the large roses, 560914 is your item number, 16 pounds and 99 pence. That's for the larger roses that we have there. We've also got the chrysanthemums, limited stock. Now they're about to come up on screen, but they are now limited stock. So there's the picture, 358453 is your item number, 14 pounds and 49 pence. The chrysanthemums now are very, very busy. But what is also busy is this. You've just seen us use it. You, oh, you say, I use the royal way. Uh, you've just seen Nick use it as well. But I just want to show you some of the things that you can create. These are absolutely beautiful. So this, it feels like it's on resin. Look at that. And that is simply using that beautiful stamp, and then you can die cut it out as well. Few words down the side, but you can go from that to that. Very different again, but it's the same stamp. You add your own little bees to it, it's sort of got that, I know it's not lavender, but it sort of gives you that lavender feel when you look at that card. With those beautiful backgrounds, a baton layer, a very elegant but easy card, and I mean that in the most possible, way, e uh, nicest way. It's so, so elegant. Talking about elegance, look what you, and you get all these, may happiness be yours today. That doesn't have to be a birthday card, that could be a thank you card, that could be a thinking of you card. But you can also use these, look at this on fabric. So you've got the leaves, these are on the show as well today, and this as well, but look at this. This has now been embroidered. So you can now embroider things like this, or look beautiful in a country kitchen. You change the colours, it could match with you as well. Absolutely stunning. Watercolours. There's so many finished samples, I want to try and get through as many as I can, just to give you the, just give you the inspiration. Glitz and glam. How nice would that be? Absolutely stunning. 367411 is your item number. There is a freedom price on this as well, 30 pounds and 58 pence. Remember that is a delivered price to your door. If you're not with freedom, 33 pounds and 98 pence is your item, is your price as well. That does include the everything that's on the screen. So you get your stamps and you also get your dies as well. You'll get so much. We've also got the fancy flourishes as well about to be on the screen. Brand new today, 13 pounds and 99 pence. Absolutely beautiful. 710968 is your item number. N now, so now, <laughs> if you could only say, we didn't know where we were standing then, but I think we're moving that way slightly because you get all of this. You get everything you mm. see on the screen. So, what are we getting here, Nick, before we start this? Sorry, this is uh, my Regal Rose collection. This is. Uh, well, I love it. It's, uh, I, it is one of my favourites. I, I love all the things I bring because they're all favourites for different reasons. They're all very different uh, from each other. But this, for a rose collection, is one of my favourites. So, I mean, again, the design team have blown me away with some of the samples. You know, they've, they've just covered about every single base you can think of. There's uh, parchment cards, watercolour cards, 
Um, you know, these are just stunning. The the, the whole, whole range. So you've got. Uh, I've given you some uh, ready built up items that are in the the sets, but also I've broken those down as well. So I've given you smaller smaller elements there. So you you're not tied to what I've chosen. You can build up uh, any design you like using what's in the sets. Um, they, then the stencils, there's the four stencils that come with it and the, the dies are special because there's a, a way of uh, attaching those without using any glue. So I've built in to the design um, so that you can actually put your card or your parchments invariably very difficult to attach to your, to your project without the glue showing. So I wanted to uh, have a way that you could use parchment in there but without using the glue behind it. So I think if I just grab that. So there's a series of tabs at the back. Uh, so oh. you can actually use those to put your card into without attaching it with glue. So if we just hold that up so you can see yeah. it. So there's a set of tabs that go around the back. So you can pop your parchment or card in. And then there's no worries with glue it's showing or anything, and you and it, it forms part of the design when you turn it around the other way. Look at that. Now, I know what you're seeing on the screen, so you're seeing everything mm. currently on the screen. So, let's go through what you're getting at the moment. So, you, so let's break it all down. <coughs> let's break it down if you're thinking, I don't, I, I'd like all of it, but what am I getting? So, we'll break it down individually in prices so you can see. So, Lazy Lady Elizabeth, if she's 17 stamps for £18.99. pence. So you're getting those beautiful roses yeah. again, Nick, in So you've there. got a real statement piece in there, but then I've also put a lovely uh, sort of... If you join those two together, the ones you've just seen, it's like a half oval. It makes a gorgeous cartouche in the centre of the card, so you could put, like, one and then reverse it for the other side and then put one of the lovely sentiments in, and you've got a lovely card front straight away. I've given you two sizes of those, but then I've broken it down, and you've got the individual leaves, little buds, you've got some little rose hips in there. Um, and then some beautiful sentiments. Um, and as always, those sentiments will go right across my collection. So if, you've, if you have been collecting them to form your craft scope library, uh, they will slot together. So you can start adding things from different collections from different to collections make your well. own sentiments. So these will work with everything that you've already mm. got as well. £18 and <coughs> pence. You get the beautiful roses, all those beautiful sentiments that's in there as well. Love with passion. But next to that, we get Princess Victoria, mm. which is here now. Once again, we'll show you individually, then we'll show you the big bundle at the end. £18 and pence again, 363397. So what are we getting with um, Princess Victoria? Uh, this one I've given you slightly different. Uh, it's more of a corner, this one, but the corner, how I've drawn it, you can add the other pieces to do around a whole, eight, uh, maybe an 8x8 eight eight card or even a 12x12 12 12 journal uh, because of the extra elements that are in there. Uh, I do like to encourage people to build their own designs, so that's why I always put the little elements in so you can do your masking techniques and you know build up your own design because it's nice to just have something different that someone else hasn't got, you know, so you send a lovely card that no one else will be able to repeat. Which is, which is good, because then they want, they're one-offs, but they're yeah. your one-offs. Even though there's, there's hundreds of people buying, they'll still be your mm. one-offs as well. So that's Princess Victoria in the middle. Then we have Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. And this Lady is, Mar uh, my nan was Marjorie, so obviously oh, I had you've to got call to it Lady yeah. Marjorie. And Lady Elizabeth is a very close friend. It was her mother. Um, so here I've given you, uh, you Look can use it that. as a corner. It's actually like a sweeping bouquet. Uh, but you could use that as a corner, um, two opposite corners, all the way around a scrapbook page. I've given you the other sizes as well, so you can put it all to frame a card and then put a real nice sten sen uh, statement piece in the centre. I mean, it's lovely on its own, you know, just stamped out. All of them will carry themselves, you know, so if you just stamp it out and put a bit of ink or colour around it, then it will It'll carry. Nice. It's like a full bouquet you've got there as well. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. You imagine that just printed out on white cardstock, mm. black border, matte and layered, fabulous, with a hint, uh, just a tiny pop of colour that you could mm. put in the middle for these. £18.99. That is for the stamps on <coughs> their own. You can buy everything together. We'll come to that very shortly. But then you've got your dies mm. as well. 
Um, this. I is, love my dyes. So this you is know, beautiful. Um, it's just it, it, both, both of these are, set, are statement pieces. Uh, I showed you the the way they can uh, be used for connecting the, the backing card. Wh whatever you choose, if you choose designer card or the parchment, or you make your own backgrounds. Uh, these are fantastic with the heat transfer paints, uh, which I'll show you later on as well. Um, they're two-part dies, so you can cut them in, or you can leave them. <gasps> you can cut them out of your card, um, or you can leave them in and do whatever you like. But also, you can snip into them and just have the rose on its own. You don't have to have the border at all. No, you could do. But even you would think, oh, I'm not very good at painting. I'm not very good at colouring. You don't need to be. Paper piece. Yep. You imagine this rose paper pieced. It would be stunning. The green flowers. You've got the um, the, the bud at the top as well. Paper piece would be absolutely gorgeous in this rose itself. But <laughs> this is not uh, this is not paper piece. But you get the idea with this as well. So this is the di this is the die itself. Look how stunning that die is. You put parchment mm. behind there and paint the parchment this colour as it is and put a little battery operated T lamp. Stunning, Stunning pieces lantern. of work. And yeah. then on the other scale, you can go to that. I mean, they, you can really change it with the different colours you use. You know, uh, you know they, they look completely different, don't they, those? And yet they're exactly the same die. And, and that is the same die. So you get 18 pence and 99 pence. That's for the ones, 696137. The next to that. Rose bouquet is what you can get as well. Um, 19 pounds and 99 pence, 747978. Uh, it's not limited stock. Uh, it's previously been limited stock in the past. It's not limited stock this time, um, but we don't have many of them. So if you're going to get them, I would go for it quickly. Once again, you get the full bouquet yeah, in full there bouquet. that you've given us as well. Um, absolutely stunning. The stencils as well. That once again, you can get these singularly, but you can also buy these in the complete bundle. Mm. So everything we talk about, you can buy as one complete bundle. But your first set of two along the top are your tumbling leaves and your flowering quince. quince. These are nice. Yes. So what would you use these for? Um, a long time ago, I'd have said backgrounds because that's what I'd have used them for. But um, stencils, there's just it's limitless what you can do with them. You, You've got your backgrounds, you've got, uh, you know, using them for texture and dimension, uh, adding a lot of dimension to a project. You've got your texture pastes for dimension and uh, texture. It's, uh, it's just, you can emboss them. Um, oh, I'm running out of mine's gone blank but you can you do so you can do yeah, so much with them you think of it and i'm sure you can do it so you can see the backgrounds that you through. can use them for here so mm. we only if you use them as backgrounds it adds that it just draws the eye away from that plain white cardstock that you might think of always using just to add that bit of difference but not only have we got these ones though they're brand new today at nine pounds 99 under a different item number you've got the ones at the bottom as well you've got the wild roses mm. and the leaves as well now these so foliage we need any time of the year. Yeah. That could go all year round if you wanted mm. to. Um, but what would you use once again? Backgrounds. Yeah, backgrounds. I mean, this is the stencil. <gasps> you know, this has just That's been the used. Stencil. Just one rose, one part of that stencil. Look at that. Um, some of the designs are good for stitching. You know, uh, pop them on some fabric, stitch through them, and make a project. It doesn't have to be a paper project. Um, you know, they're great uh, using the texture paste, as I said, uh, your gilding waxes, um, really building it up. It's, it's all about dimension and texture and adding interest to you. Like you said about the flat card, you know, you've just added a, a whole new dimension by, by adding that texture in the background rather than just a plain piece of card. You really can. Now, this is not the leaves, the leaves we've just spoke about, but this gives you an idea mm. of what you can do with these collections that we're about to bring you the big bundle. So if you like the stencils on their own, these are the <coughs> details for on their own, 041640. But if you want everything, so all the stamps, the two sets of dies, and you also get the stencils as well that you can sort of see in that little picture just there, um, you can get everything for 98 pounds and 93 pence. 
But if you're freedom, 98 pounds and four pence, but there is flexi on this as well. 89 pounds and four pence, sorry, I've just totally made that price up for you. <laughs> um, but then there's also flexi on this, which means anything else you pop into your basket for 29 pounds and 68 pence, that's your freedom flexi. Um, anything gets split on to three interest-free payments. So if you're in the club, it's £29.68. If you're not in the club, Meg, how much would it be on your three flexes? We were about to find out now. Um, so we're going to demo. We'll yep. find out for that price. It'll about to appear on your screen any time now. Here it comes. £32.98 if you're not in the club, which is still a bargain. Three flexes. Anything else you put in? Also get split onto three as well. Right, isn't it? Go right. On. So I'm going to do a fairly quick demo with this. I'm using the Lady Marjorie uh, bouquet I love uh, it. stamp. Sorry, the bouquet stamp from Lady Marjorie. Um, just going to ink that up with the um, Acorn Versa Fine Clear. Clear, sorry. And stamp that. And this is onto a piece of eight by eight. Um, do I need to move that over? Yeah, that's, that's right. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, that's just on an 8x8 Clarity card blank. I always swear by them. I think they take ink perfectly. They colour perfectly. Um, so I just love them. They're fantastic. Right, so just get rid of that. I'll leave it like that. <laughs> yep, it's all right. So what I've done here is I've used the, uh, the masking tape from Stamp Addicts, uh, Vicky and Sarah. I did have it on my show the other day, so it should be still on the website. Yeah. Um, it's brilliant. It uh, just stamp the stamp you're using and make yourself a mask. So we're just going to mask over this rose. There we are. So you can create these masks, then you can just go to town on your background because yeah. you know that work is going to be it's absolutely gonna be beautiful. Now, do take the time in. Uh, lining it all up so you don't get any uh, ghosting or anything through there and then I'm going to put the oval over the top I did something similar on the one day special but for people that didn't watch it and I thought it was a lovely effect and I thought it might look really lovely on the roses as well so I thought I'd give I it a go you can create. so then here I'm taking the coffee archival just bringing in a bit of depth around the oval there because the roses don't always have to be bright colors or you know colored you can actually use them as uh, more old-fashioned give just them an old-fashioned look but you can do so much with these as well don't don't just think card making no think, well, I don't make not. cards I don't know you can use these, we've showed you, you can, you can stitch through these if you want to. You could stamp them onto fabric if you wanted to as well and use amazing designs on fabric. Um, journaling, these would be amazing Fantastic in as well. Journaling. You know, and everyone likes, everyone loves roses. You know, uh, so many, I think there's a thing out there, people think, oh no, you can't give roses to a man. Nan. You know, I wouldn't mind a card with the roses on it. It wouldn't bother me in the slightest. No, it wouldn't bother me either. Either a bouquet of roses wouldn't yeah. bother me. If you're going to send them, has Chandis Studios. <laughs> Arundel. <laughs> Arundel. Peterborough. And then just like shade that slightly so it's not so stark. But these for scrapbooking. You said flowers provoke memories and provoke yeah. thoughts. So you could really use these for all sorts of. Probably been a little bit heavy, but I think that'll do the trick. And then we're just going to peel that off. Remember, because you pop that mask down as well. Look at that. And then just put a sentiment on it <gasps> and leave it, because then that pops that stamp through. You could go through with some very uh, pale uh, colour, you know, some pale oh green or some words. pale apricot or, you know, one of the more pastely colours. But I think that looks quite good like that. And then just let's quickly put a sentiment on, because I know I want to try and get another something done. Once again, clean and classy. You haven't got to start off. putting everything on if you don't want to. Clean and classy with these also look amazing, because remember they're delicate flowers. Roses are very delicate. 
and always tell a story. So you can use these. Well. Would you always use a stamp platform? Is that your go-to stamp platform? Because you know everything's... Not always. Not always? But I, no, I, in fact, at home more, I probably use uh, the block. Oh, your blocks. You know, I use blocks like that, but I think for television it is TV, quite yeah, easy. You, you know, know where a, you're going. It is a lot easier. And I'm just going to keep this the same in the same... No, I'm not actually. I've changed my mind. Very, very busy. The details on the screen at the moment, remember, is that... <laughs> I know. Uh, 654409 is your item number. Into three yeah, flexes yeah. is what you can put it in. But look how classy that card is. Absolutely. And that just really pops, Beautiful. It? Just really simple. Simple, st simple but effective statement. The roses just popping forward and it's a bit 3D. It is. I think we've got f how many long we got left? We've got about five or six minutes. We should, might be able to get another demo. Well, you set up. We're going to look at these samples. Um, you can create fabrics. You can now create mm. your own fabrics with these as well. That's why they dropped home. It's not just because I like them, but I do. Uh, scarves. Imagine having scarves like this. No one would have uh, scarves like this at all. You wouldn't have a scarf. You could sell the. Is there, is there an angel policy on these? Um, as long as you're making them, you, you can, can go them. and. Yep. So you can use this or you can do, just look at what you can create. So you can create things like this or you can create little scrapbooks as well. So just paper piecing in with your bits of hessian in there into your books, using each individual element if you want to. How beautiful is that? You could use this as an inspiration book if you mm. wanted to, to see what the dyes and the stamps and the stencils will do. You could all do this as well. Uh, but there is so, so much. You could also put your gilding wax on there as well if you wanted to. Look how different that looks already. But that and that are the same stamp. You would not think they were the same, but they are. It all depends on the medium that you want to use. Right, what we're doing next, Nick? I'm hoping I'll have enough time to do this card. But You've got about four minutes left. Right, so probably as far as I can get. Right, go on then, I'll let you go. Beautiful. Right, so Elaine's actually prepared this for me, which is very nice of her. <laughs> um, so she's done the matting and layering for me straight away, so that's going to be a real help. I might just... Uh, you can get the idea, so I'll just uh, stamp away with the, the oval. I like to try and get as many in as I can. No, that's I what people the watch for. That's, they love to see the inspiration and the, um, yeah. the ideas. And what, I, what I always do is the shows I try and get onto uh, my YouTube channel and any... Um, any demos that I've done on here, I will put them on my uh, channel as well, uh, you know, so I can go into more depth. So okay. I know that sometimes they are rushed when I give you the ideas, but if you look on my YouTube, I think there's about 60 videos there now. Um, so if you look on there, there'll be uh, demos from previous shows which I've redone so that you can oh, see it in more detail. If people do get stuck though, is it, are you easy contact, contactable on social media? Yep, all the details are on the packaging. Um, oh, even better. If you'd like to join, uh, I've got a, a, a Facebook page, Craftscope Makes. Um, it's to share all of your um, crafty makes, not just Craftscope, anything at all. So if you, whatever you've used, if it's something you've handmade, then come and Pop share it. it. You know, it's not specifically for Craftscope at all. Because you could be that one person that inspires somebody else. Exactly. They look at your design and think, well, I think I could do that. I think I could have a go at that. And they'll put their twist onto it, which would be totally different. But you could be that inspiration that someone needs or that little push that someone needs to get into the world of crafting yep. as well. That's right, because that's what it's all about. It's all about sharing. It's all about, um, you know, it's such a fantastic group. You know, the people, the inspiration they share, they, you know, daily, I mean, it's... We've got uh, over a thousand members, and uh, most of them share. You know, you'll find lots of different cards. It's soft crafts, um, scrapbooking, mixed media. You know, so it, there's something for everyone there, and that's why I wanted it to be 
any craft. Any one at you know, all. I don't want it to just be craft scope because well, you know we all use everything, don't we? We don't all just use one thing. We well, know we do indeed, but talking about a little push that you might need, someone is about to walk away with a beautiful little goodie bag. Congratulations to Mrs. Susan Venables. Well done. You have won the heat transfer paint, the prefixer and the thickener as well. Uh, Nick will demonstrate them at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Congratulations. They are all winging their way to you. Um, once again, send in. Once you get received them and you start using them, I'm sure Nick, and I know we would here at Chandler as well, would love to see what you're making. Really would as be well. lovely. See what, you've, see what you've done with them. You've got about a minute left. Oh dear, I'm not going to... I know, shame. always time flies. So this, this one I will redo. I, I will do all of them on uh, YouTube so you will be able to see, so it's not like you'll lose out. Also, congratulations for winning that, but I will be doing some more giveaways on the 2 o'clock show for the heat transfer paints, so do tune in watch the demos and uh, hopefully be in chance for a win. If you want to be in a chance to win this afternoon, remember you have to watch this afternoon and you also have to purchase something this afternoon so as well. this is what we were after. But once again... So you want to take your time colouring it in, you know, you want to sort of stamp it out, have a nice evening and, and colour and just relax and lose yourself and have a bit of fun. But so elegant. I mean, if you cut another one of them out as well, you could have a beautiful wreath that could yes. go all the way around mm. the card as well and really snip into them. Um, for those people that are sitting on the fence thinking, do I, do I need this set? Do I need to add this to my set? What would you say to those people? Um, I'd say yes. Cause, well, I would, wouldn't I? Because <laughs> I want to sell it. But no, uh, at the end of the day, I want people to enjoy their craft and I hope the things I bring do help you because um, that's what I'm trying to do at the end of the day. I want to make crafting fun and easy to do. And I think you've achieved that as well. As uh, you said, you can make it fun, we can make it easy. The hard work's been taken out for you with Crafterscope. All you need to do is take it home and enjoy. If you've got anything in your baskets, please do check it out. Thank you ever Thank so you much. So it's much. been an Thank absolute you. pleasure. And I'll see you later this afternoon. You see it too.